Hi, uh, this is Rick Trent. I'm showing a little uh, mock-up of the 40 Watt Plus uh, laser kit I'm working on. Uh, the neat thing about this is it's made for affordability. You can buy one base plate at a time with uh, one module, two, three, whatever at a time. You know, buy, you can buy the pieces separate, I'll sell them all separate. Uh, each base plate hosts three modules. If you want to add another three, this is the designed, they just lock into place, bow it up. Of course, you get the screws when you buy your next plate, you know, to add on. But anyway, you can add on, so on and so on. As I got back here in the background, I've got three added together, which would be nine. And you would run nine on one side and then nine on the other side to give you a 40 watt. Here's a close up look at one of the cubes. It's got a little set point. Uh, here's the module. It's a solid copper. Uh, the back part helps heat sink the diode. This is for the 9mm. Some of these are hollow. This is the good one. Uh, they're not cheap, like the little annex modules. Uh, real good fit. I always use Arctic Silver to help transfer the heat. Uh, each, let me do a little close up back here. Each one will have its own driver. Here's a little module sliding in. You can see you got wires coming out the back. Um, got the adjustment screws. The little arms are so neat. As you can see here, uh, I'll show you a little bit on the arms. I think that's one thing that's going to help this kit and make it easy for people that's not really uh, used to setting up knife edges. With this little design, this arm I designed, you can basically tighten it up and get the mirror wherever you want it. Plus, you've got the four bolts here to move it. I was out of a, uh, the Allen head. I just had to use the Phillips for now, but uh, I will have Allen heads for the kit. But anyway, it's got a focusable lens, uh, your little arms adjust a mirror, and plus with those screws with knife edging, you have one lower, 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 and then one beside the other going down the line, shooting into the cube. Um, so I would have nine on one side. Uh, as you can see here, here's, oh, here's a look at the batteries. It's gonna take some very powerful batteries. I think these here are 16 ounce per each. I got some 15 amp ordered uh, that'll probably sell with the kit. Uh, but like I say, just as you get money, you could buy piece after piece after piece or buy a whole complete kit. It's up to you, whatever your budget allows. Um, this one here, like I say, there's three. You'd have nine on this side, nine on that side. You'd shoot them into a cube on one side, into a cube on the other side. And that's going to give you, all, you can make an awesome infinity beam. Or I'll have a little add-on uh, kit that you can do up-close optics to move the, this is like a 50 millimeter lens. That if you want to add to it for up-close burning, you could, at 40 watts, you could burn through uh, thin steel. Um, hope I haven't forgot anything. I'm trying to show you everything that I would think somebody would want to know. If you get any questions, don't hesitate to email me or, or whatever. If you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more updates. Uh, hopefully get a power rating and more testing done as soon as possible. Um, oh, and it is, the potential is up to 100 watts with this uh, kit. Uh, 40 is going to be real easy to do, but I'm going to try to get it up to 100 watts. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.